So let's do this coding exercise. First of all, uh, if you have uh, the idea how to do it, you should do it before I explain it to you because this is the purpose of the coding exercise. And if you were not able to uh, figure out how to do it, you can follow this tutorial and I will show you how to complete the exercise. Right now, what we want is we will take back our coding exercise uh, um, project and then I will just remove, by example, the uh, or, or we can keep the bottom navigation bar. I will just add a body. So inside this body, what we will do is we will create a column and this will have an argument uh, children. In the children, we will add a row widget and this row widget will take children inside as well. So right now what we have on the screen is a column with one item inside and the item is a row. Okay, I will put the comma and format document. Next step, inside this row with the children, we will add a raised, raised button like this. This raised button will have an empty function for now and we will need to add a set state inside. To add a set state and to, uh, uh, to do that in Flutter, we will need to uh, right click on stateless widget and convert this, so refactor, inside a state full widget. If you don't have the refactor, you control dot, you use the control dot, and then you will be able to state full widget. Good. Inside this one, we will use the set state, and I will format document once again. Okay. Uh, we will add a child for this uh, button. So right here, I will say child, and I will say a text widget. This text widget will be uh, press. Then I format document. Okay, right now we should see press on this button and we are not able to see it. I will restart the application just to see what happened. Okay, that was just a little bug. Now, when we will press on this button, we want to, ch want to change the direction of the button, where it go. So in diagonal like this. Okay, we can use the uh, inside the column and the row, we have the main axis alignment and the cross axis alignment. So I will say main axis alignment equals start. I will put them all at start first. So I will say cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment dot start. I will do the same for the row. So I will copy and paste inside the row. I will format document. Then what, what I will say is I will create a multiple uh, possible action. First of all, the on press will be called before the build. I will create an int, so a variable int. And this int will be, by example, a number. Oop, number equal to zero. Good. So on the, when it's equal to zero, then this is good. This should be like that. Okay. If it's equal to one, so when we press on the button, we will say number. Uh, number equal to number plus one. Okay, so when we press on it, the number equal number plus one. That's mean that when we press on it, now the number should be at one. So if the number is one, so this is what we will uh, write inside this main axis alignment. So the main axis alignment is this, inside the column. So we want the main axis alignment to be center now. So what we will say is if number equal equal to zero, if it is the case with interrogation, then normal start. Otherwise put the main axis alignment at center. Oops, main axis alignment dot center. Here we go. So because we have press, we are now in center. I will re uh, restart the app. When we start, we are there. When we click on it, we are there. We should do the same with the row because the main axis alignment of the row is, um, is pretty much the same. So I will use the main axis. I will use the same logic. I will copy and paste this in this one. Here we go. So this should bring the, uh, as you can see, we have an error 
and the error is we need to say we need to declare main axis alignment main axis alignment and it is called like this so i will copy and paste good so now we can see that this is on the display so if i restart now we are from this place to this one good we just need to do it one more time but for the number two okay for the number two we can see uh, by example if it is the case uh, we could use the same logic that's it just saying uh, after this one we can say number and i know it can be a little bit confusing first but you just you just need to practice a lot and you will understand the the logic between the interrogation and this so if it is this then do that otherwise do this and now in this otherwise it will be once again if number equal equal to one then put the the center otherwise put the main axis alignment dot end and we can use this same logic so we'll copy this inside our row as well so we can put it right here oh no back i will put it in the center sorry and i will format document so now what happened is i will uh, refresh when we press uh, the first time it's go there and when we press another time it go there but if we repress nothing happened what we can do is if the number equal to two then reset the number as zero so this is what we will do is uh, we can say if if the number so the if like this it's pretty much the same as saying if like this if the number is this do this otherwise do this so it's it's a if condition else condition it's the same thing so we can use the same logic saying if the number equal equal to uh, true uh, not true if the number is equal equal to two then do this so number equal equal to zero uh, just equal and else in the other case do what we what is supposed to do only plus one so if i restart the app right now what will happen is when i click it's go there it's go there and it's come back as you can see so maybe you will say okay but we have never learned about the if condition in this course but yeah now we have first second we can use the interrogation and two point as well so we could say instead of if we could say uh, number equal equal two if it is the case then do number equal zero otherwise we will delete the else totally otherwise do this so we could use this uh, instead so you have two ways to use the if else condition uh, sometime in your code you cannot use the if like this uh, if like this so you can use the interrogation and the two point uh, that was pretty much it for this one so as as you can see every time you press on it the button move and if you have understand that we have not really used the cross axis alignment for this uh, assignment so i can remove this one and i can remove the other one so that was it for this video uh, see you on the next one bye